The man who would become Muhammad Ali is born Cassius Marcellus Clay in Louisville, Kentucky, 1942. He is among the most popular and polarizing personalities throughout the world. We cannot forget a Louisville police officer, Joe Espy Martin, who embraced a young 12-year-old boy in distress when his bicycle was stolen. I am the greatest! 18-year-old Golden Gloves champ, Cassius Clay, wins the U.S. Olympic Trials in San Francisco. He wins the Olympic gold medal in Rome and is very proud to be an American. Celebrating the life of Muhammad Ali. It was his religion that caused him to turn away from war and violence. For his religion, he was prepared to sacrifice all that he had and all that he was to protect his soul. Whatever suffering or punishment I may have to take, it'll all be because of my religion. He was going to be very vocal about problems this country had. Ali took a stand against the war, which made him a hero to millions of people who thought it was an unjust war. Muhammad Ali stood up for what he believed was right, and he stood against what he believed was wrong. And those are Islamic principles. In the United States, where there was very limited uh, knowledge of Islam or the religion of Islam, they were not even aware that there was such a thing. He opened their, the eyes and ears of Americans in general. He faced many hardships and many challenges. Later on, the entire nation and the entire world recognized and applauded his conviction. Well, Muhammad Ali has been a great ambassador of Islam. And his change of name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali put a big focus. He was a great orator and his performance in the ring was tremendous. Muhammad Ali would go on to win the heavyweight title three times. If he goes down again, it's over! Hey, I'm the greatest man in Abu I've still got the world! Ali is the people's champ. Ali is the revolution. I must be the greatest! I told the world! Ali is awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in January 2005. He made an emotional and historic appearance at the Summer Olympics in Atlanta. He stunned the world when he secured the release of 15 hostages from Iraq. Ali believed if you're on the right side of history, no matter the odds, and if you perfect your craft, you can accomplish anything. Muhammad means worthy of all praises, and Ali means most high. Muhammad Ali struck us in the middle of America's darkest night in the heart of its most threatening gathering storm. His power toppled the mightiest of foes and his intense light shined on America. And we were able to see clearly injustice, inequality, poverty, prides, courage, laughter, love, joy, and religious freedom for all. He didn't know that people like Nelson Mandela were listening to his fights on the radio in their jail cell in South Africa. He was a legend and his name in sports and, and, the, and the world as a humanitarian person is, is uh, unforgettable. When they asked uh, his name on the, on, the, on the Hollywood Boulevard, they said, you cannot put my star on the ground. And uh, they had to put a plaque on the wall because he did not want that the name of Muhammad should be stepped on. And he was kind enough to participate in the Muslim Day Parade, we, which we have every year. Muhammad Ali um, increased the awareness of Parkinson's disease uh, to the general public.
Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center offers not only exercise and knowledge and information, but hope. When I found Muhammad, I realized there was something going on there that I didn't have at any of the other ones I was looking at. Yeah, it's literally a lifeline for me. I couldn't imagine having Parkinson's and not have a place like the center here. It has created a community for us. What I was when I was first diagnosed is not what I am now. I had to find a new norm, and this center has helped me do that. I have Parkinson's, Parkinson's doesn't have me. He became the face of our fight. Muhammad Ali stood up for what he believed in. Couldn't do it without St. Joe's and Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center. These are probably some of the smartest, nicest, kindest people I've ever met in my life. I met him when he had uh, uh, Parkinsonism, but he was still uh, quite, uh, uh, can converse quite a bit, and we did have a lot of talk, and I really liked him as a person, as a, as a leader, and as a boxer. Well, Ahmed, this one's for you. When you discuss who was the greatest heavyweight of all time, to mention any name other than Ali's is a crime. Even in his death, in his burial, in his funeral services, he showed the country and the world what true Islam, what Islam really is. Both America and Muhammad Ali changed and came together in the end. His struggle continues today. He was Muhammad Ali, and nobody else ever was or ever could be. He grew from a vision of a butterfly and a stinging bee. From the lesser rings of this world, he joined the greater ring of heavens. <laughs>